Alright, hello people, I'm the dude and we're back with more EverQuest. Uh, in this case, I was thinking about it, where we should go next to farm some more armor, you know, for our friends, because they're still missing a lot of pieces, and I got to thinking, Lost Dungeons and Norat. Uh, you do the dungeons, you get the points, everyone gets armor at the same time. Does it get any better than that? So, I think we're gonna do that. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Technically, we weren't the right level yet. It'd have been that low-level, really crappy Lost Dungeons and Norath armor. We're right at the butter zone right now for, uh, like, the third tier of armor, which is actually pretty good. So we're gonna try that. I don't know if we're strong enough. I, I seem to remember Lost Dungeons and Norath being hard. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, farmed... Lower Guck some more, I farmed Rygor some more, I farmed some other place we've been, I can't remember right now, uh, some more, and I got some more items. Uh, we have the Dark Reaver from uh, Lower Guck. We have, uh, I think it ended up being three different short swords of Yakisha. We've got one, and I put two of them on uh, the Ranger, because, <laughs> you know, he, he was lacking the love. He didn't really have very much uh, in the way of equipment, so he's dual wielding two of them. Probably a waste, but what can you do? Uh, I also said that I might go ahead and make the illusion items all all. Went ahead and did that. So if we find any illusion items, we can use them. Uh, and any characters we make in the future can use them. Instead of having to worry about being rogue or bard. I always thought they should have been all all because they're so damn hard to find. And they're so much fun to collect. But, uh, you know, the designers and their infinite wisdom, they went one way. I'm going another. Uh, let's see, is there anything, more, any, anything else? I bought our new spells. We're caught up on spells. Oh yeah, I've got show helm on. Switch the helm up and you can actually see our helm now. Someone had asked why I never wear helms. Uh, I just like... I don't know, I just like having the face open. You know, so you can see the face. But uh, there's the helm. With, uh, you know, the dread scale colors and all that good stuff. So, our uh, first task, I didn't mean to click that, but it doesn't matter. Is to... Where did it go? Right here. Our first task is to find someone in our hometown. I'll go ahead and read all this. I don't really want to, but I'll do it anyways. Uh, a mysterious voice whispers to you. If you can feel me in your thoughts, know this. Something is changing in the world, and I reckon you should be a part of it. I do not know much, but I do know that in every home city, that's where we are. We came back to Cabillus. Uh, and the wilds, there are agents of an organization called the Wayfarers Brotherhood. They are looking for recruits. If you can hear this message, you are one of the chosen. Rush to your home city or search the West Karanas and Wrath Mountains for a contact. If you've been exiled from your... We have not. Uh, our home city loves us. We're awesome. Uh, and find out more. Adventure awaits you, my friend. So, adventure awaits. So, here we are. Let's see. We are looking for a guy named Zoss. There he is. Zoss Malgorn. Says he is straight ahead. Is he... Okay. Looks like he's on the far side. Uh, but yeah, the uh, Lost Dungeon of Norath, I love that expansion when it first came out. When it first came out, I liked it better than any expansion before it. It was so much fun, and it was something new at the time, like full-on instance dungeons. And uh, you could just collect the points and buy whatever you wanted. It wasn't whatever random loot happened to drop. You could just save up points and buy what you actually wanted. Such a cool idea. Hail, my friend. Uh, come to find out about the Wayfair Brotherhood. Hmm. I think I saw you around here long ago. Because you are familiar to me, I will trust you with some information. What information, friend? Uh, the Wayfarer's Brotherhood is pretty particular about who they do business with. You will need to prove yourself to them... Okay, hold up, I gotta turn track off. That's getting irritating. There we go. Uh, you can start gaining their gratitude by helping them. The Wayfarer's Brotherhood will ask you to answer some questions when you first meet them. I don't remember this part. Uh, they tend to call all of their assignments adventures. You do well to keep that in mind as they'll be more likely to give you some tasks. There is other information that makes them easier to deal with, too. Uh, how do I deal with them? Hey. Uh, there are several camps of Wayfarers Brotherhood. Wayfarers. Shouldn't it be Wayfarer Brotherhood, not Wayfarers Brotherhood? 
uh, explorers around the world. In each camp, you'll find a trusted Wayfarer Brotherhood member that has the task of recruiting adventures that will take on interesting and potentially lethal work. Uh, some members will tell you stories. If they think you are worthy of learning such prized information, others will share their treasures with you, but only if you do work for them. That's the loot. Uh, doing work, you get the points. You spend the points to get the loot. Uh, what kind of work, friend? Ah, uh, the Wayfarer Brotherhood believes in giving something for something. <laughs> for each adventure you take from them, they will add you to their favored journal. Okay, uh, with the points of favor that their record keepers have counted for you. You can trade your good favor for wonderful treasures and goods. Also, the more adventures you do for the Wayfarer Brotherhood, the more your favor increases. The harder jobs get you more favor, by the way. As you gain more favor, the Wayfarer Brotherhood treasure keepers will let you peek at some of their more... Right, yeah. Uh, the more points you get, the more items you unlock on the list. You can't actually see them all at the start. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, peek at some of the more unique and sought-after items, so it pays to get in good with them, you see. And there's more! Oh, no! Uh, what more? <laughs> uh, you should also know that there are five magi in the Wayfarer Brotherhood that have found very unique magic stones in the world that they are able to use. Oh, right, yeah, they, they teleport you back and forth. Right. Uh, the Magus. They've placed a magus with one of these stones at each each large camp. They call it Farstone Magic. And that's not only the only interesting ore we've seen lately. Uh, what interesting ore? You've completed a step towards becoming a great adventurer. Well done. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Uh, we've found some strange items off the dead in the dungeons. At first, we just thought they were simple things, rocks, pebbles, gems, and the like. And then we noticed they had very unusual auras about them. Well, one day, Morden Rasp was toying with one, shiny green shard, and he went to scrape it with his dagger. So, oh, the, the gem. The gem that comes with the expansion or whatever. That's what they're talking about. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Suddenly, the shard began to reform and fused with his dagger. While the dagger remained as fine as ever, Morden himself felt a surge of strength. Right. Uh, so you will want to watch out for these strange magic pieces in the world. Now I suggest you go talk to Selefra Giztral, Barstray Songweaver, Wall Stoutist, Teria Grintly, or Ruanya Windleaf. I love how they, they can have, like, you know, Native American type last names that are easy to say, but they have to have the stupid, high fantasy, ridiculous first names <laughs> that are impossible to pronounce. Uh, they handle all of those who are interested in working for the Wayfarer Brotherhood and getting rewards. Remember well what I've told you. I will remember, Zoss, friend. So we need to go to one of the... Uh, but I'm going to look up the quest real quick so I don't screw this up. Let's see. B -b -b Zam EQ. No, Sam. Yes. And then... Uh, Wayfair Brotherhood. Ba 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 ba. Uh, Stone? Uh... Hmm. Ah, here we go. Adventure Stone. Uh, once you reach... Yes, mysterious message. Not sure what town you started in. Blah, blah, blah. We already did that. Da, 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 da. Find a specific NPC. Right, yeah, we did that. We just have to go to one of the camps. Uh... Okay. Uh, the only one I remember well is the one in uh, the desert. Uh, what the hell is the desert called right now? Because on my bard, which is the one I did all the LDON stuff in, 
or on. Uh, I wanted the armor. I wanted the uh, the sand armor. Uh, royal attendant. I wanted the royal attendant armor, and I ended up getting a whole set of it. It's pretty good for a while too. Let's see where is the? It's over here. Yes. Uh, we're gonna walk over there because someone was complaining that I don't walk anywhere, so you'll get to see some walking, I guess. I don't know why anyone would want to see walking, but here you go. Just for you, friend. Lots of walking. This whole episode might just be walking. <laughs> Depending on how it's received, we may or may not walk everywhere in the future, but it's gonna take up huge chunks of episodes. <laughs> I don't know why you would want it, but here it is. But, uh, yeah, I loved LDON. It was such a cool idea at the time. And it was a small part of EverQuest, right? Right. It wasn't like everything was instant spontaneously, right? The whole game was more or less seamless. But, uh... They, 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 they you know, changed something up at the time, and it was cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get our steed, just to speed this up a bit. There we go. Everyone wasted their mana. I guess they're rebuffing or something. <clears throat> shouldn't matter. We shouldn't get attacked here. And even if we do, it won't matter because it'll all be low level. Actually, we could go kick the crap out of the uh, the Yeti guy. Over here. Uh, the Tengren or whatever. Hmm. It's a long-ass walk, though. <laughs> I don't know. Decaying skeletons. Okay. That is a fight you cannot win, my undead friend. Let's see. Back to POK. And then, uh, blah, 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 blah. I think we need to go to Freeport. Yes. Yes, Freeport is connected to the desert. Or the tunnel is connected to the desert. Either one. I can't even remember what the desert's called right now. Uh, Row. Something, it's like North and South Row, or something like that, I think. If I remember right. Uh, also, if I remember right, it doesn't matter which of the, the dungeons you do. You get points for all of them, I think. Reports over here. Uh, we will investigate after we do our first mission. Just go to a different camp and see if we uh, still have the points. But I think that's the way it works. Hopefully. That way we can do all of them. You know, just to spice it up a bit. There's Freeport. Uh, what? Send you to the classic Freeport West. If you do not respond within, automatically be sent to the Overhold version. Interesting. I didn't even know that was a part of the game. That's really cool. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, we're going to get sent to the new one because I didn't read it fast enough. But we're not going to be here for very long. We're just leaving immediately. If we ever go back there for a reason, like if we make a character that wants to go to Freeport for a quest or something, uh, we'll do the old one. I don't like the new zones at all. They shouldn't even have done, revamped any of the zones. It was a stupid idea. I mean, maybe they plan to revamp all of them and make the whole game updated, but good luck with that. That was going to take forever. That was way too ambitious on their part. Yeah, see, it's so ugly now. God. I mean, it was kind of plain before, and the graphics were old and all that crap, but... It's so damn ugly now. Yeah, we want to go to the common lands, and then we'll go to the tunnel. And then that the tunnel will lead right to the desert. And I think it's the one on this side. I don't think it's the far side. Uh, I think the camp's the one on this side. If it's not, oh well, we'll walk across. Some random guy wanted walking, so he's getting walking. <clears throat> Seem to remember the... Uh, the Mistmore dungeon being the hardest of the five. This is from like way back. Like, and my memory is terrible, but in my ridiculously terrible memory, I seem to remember that one being the toughest of the bunch. And I remember this one, the sand one, being somewhere in the middle. And uh, I would assume, even if we can't reuse the points at other camps, I would assume we'd want this one because this is the one that had the armor for uh, the plate classes. If I remember right, because uh, my, that's where my bard got his armor. The uh, the desert camp. Ugh, they revamped this one too. Bleh. 
<laughs> no, thank you. There's got to be a way to use the old, uh, the old maps. I need to figure that out. Like replace the files so I can get the old maps back. Because <laughs> these new ones look like crap. I don't know. They look kind of like the. Uh, oh, what the third expansion, Lukeland. They kind of look like Lukeland maps to me. The way they designed them. And I always hated Lukeland. <laughs> Never liked Lukeland, even when it first came out. I mean, like, the mobs were way, way tougher than they needed to be when Lukeland was new. The, the structure of the zones was confusing as hell how they connected. And then the end game, uh, getting to SS Raw Temple and dealing with the gray and how hard the temple was and all that shit. I just hated Lukeland. So, oh man, they revamped this too. Damn. What the hell were you thinking? Uh, let's see. Is the camp here somewhere? Dervish camp. Yeah, it looks like it's right here. Maybe. Where the hell am I? Uh, okay, we're going this way. Some mummies. I remember the mummies. Right. I remember the mummies. <clears throat> and uh, the giant scythe-wielding reaper bastards. But there are one zone over, if I remember right. Are they going to try and kill me? This is indifferent. This doesn't look right. This doesn't look like a camp. Raider recruiter, augment, birdbath. This is adventure merchant. This has to be the camp. This doesn't look right at all. Hmm. Looks like it's right here. Yeah, it looks like this is the place. Okay. Uh, ba 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 ba. Now I've got to remember the names. I don't think that was one of them. Here we go, Windleaf. That's it. I'm gonna talk to Windleaf. Um, am I not close enough? Get off the. No. Yes, get off the mount. Hey, -o. Oh, it wasn't close enough. Oh, uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm quite busy. Maybe you can talk to Wayfarer in your hometown. I already did! What? You sent me to you, woman. This is the right one, right? Yeah. Handle all those you're interested in working for. Uh, remember well what I've told you. It says I've completed a step, but she's not talking to me. Okay, so the uh, one in, what was it, North Row, the wafer camp there, didn't work. Uh, we talked to the right person, Windleaf, and she just said to go to our hometown first, which we obviously already did. So I went to Everfrost, and apparently the one in Everfrost works. Uh, Tyria Grintley, or whatever. So here we are, uh, and our Bubbles is fighting a skeleton. Uh, let's see. Tyria says, welcome stranger, I'm afraid you must answer some questions before I can consider opening your opening our wealth of skill and knowledge to you. First, what does the Wayfarer's Brotherhood call the tasks they will ask you to do for... Adventures! Adventures... No? They call them... Adventures? <laughs> Uh, maybe I need to heal her again. Aha! I didn't say it fast enough. Uh, we will reward based on your improving position, right? Keep a certain type of log that records how often and well you use, like a journal or something. Set it up here somewhere. Apparently this guy gives you the answers to all that crap. Crease in favor. Get more favor. Peek at items. 
Favor journal. Favor journal. Yes? Yes? Uh -huh. Uh Who discovered that some treasures... Strange magical properties of poking, uh, ba, 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 what was the guy's name? What was the guy's name? It's here somewhere. Dagger, Morden, Morden Rasp. Yes? Yes. Uh, our brilliant magi use a special kind of magic to help... Uh, what is it called? I don't know. Good question. What is it called? Oh, he's doing it out of order. Or she. Sorry. Magus. Farstone magic. And voila, there's our uh, little thingamabobber. Uh, Jim, congratulations. I believe now that you are trustworthy enough to take on some of the adventures the Wayfarer's Brotherhood have, have to give, we will be able to continue with our discussions once you complete some adventures. We can also help you with travel between our camps. Be well, fair Grim. I'm sure someday you will be a great addition to the Wayfarer's Brotherhood. Your faction standing with the Wayfarer's Brotherhood got better. Take this adventure stone with you on your journeys into the dungeons. You will find it useful. Should you lose it somehow, come talk to me and I'll replace it. Added to key ring. Okay. Uh, this is the first gem I believe that anyone ever got. This expansion introduced the gems, and this was the first one, like, right off the bat. And if I remember right, it sucks balls uh, off the start. Does it even give stats? Yeah, apparently it doesn't even give stats. <laughs> Uh, but once you do the missions for uh, Lost Dungeons of Norath, it levels up. It like gets more and more stats. It gets better and better. So we'll definitely be keeping that. I don't know how we're gonna give that to our friendos though, because technically, if they're real people, they'd have it too, and it'd be leveling up for them as well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a way to like copy ours and like give it to them somehow. I don't know. But uh, we did the introduction to Lost Engine Norath. Next episode, we'll do our first dungeon because this is already 30 minutes <laughs> uh, plus. So, yeah. Plus, I'm going to have to figure out which dungeon we want to do first. There's the Everfrost one, which is the one we're at at the moment. There's the North Row one. There's the Mistmore one. And then there's two more. Uh, let's see. What are the other two? I had it up somewhere on here, but apparently I lost it. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll figure it out later. Oh, here it is. Uh, there's one in Guck, apparently. No, that's the one that's attached to uh, the Desert of Roe. There's... All oh, right, Miragul's Menagerie is what this one's called. Uh, Everfrost, the one we're at. There's the one in Mistmore. The one in East Commons is called Rujarkian Hills. I don't even remember that one. Oh, there's one in South and North Row. The one in North Row is the one I remember. Uh, Takish His. And the one in South Row attaches to Guck. Okay, interesting. So those are the five. I'm going to have to figure out which one we're going to start with. And I need to figure out if the uh, points transfer or not. Let's get the the uh, the merchant to see if he has anything for us yet. Probably not, would be my guess. Where's the soulbinder merchant? It's this gigantic lady right here. Jesus. Hey, why can't I see everything? That's weird. Huh. You're not supposed to be able to see everything. <laughs> uh, oh, it looks like the points are separate. Maybe. Well, damn, that sucks. I wanted to be able to do all of them, you know, at random, just like mix and match, and then just accrue the points and buy whatever I need from whatever merchant. It doesn't look like it works that way. Well, maybe it does. It says points available up here. 
Although that might just be another version of this down here. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, here's some of the items, by the way. Here's some of the really expensive ones. What is this? So this is a chain set. Three augment slots. Are there any weapons here? Polar Ice of Virtue? That's an augment. Eternal Ice Prism of Sense. That's an augment. Necklace Shawl. Ba -ba -ba. Icy Diamond. Gleaming. I see a lot of gems. I don't see any weapons. Dark Cloak of Lich Rituals. Three augments again. Uh, the stuff you get from... LDON, instead of it having its own effects attached to it, you get a bunch of augment slots, and then you attach augments that give it an effect. So it's all extremely customizable. Uh, and there's tons of different effects on all these different gems. Boots of Suffering. Well, I kind of wanted to see a weapon, but it doesn't look like this particular merchant sells weapons. Or I'm blind. Either one. Oh, we sell spells. Call of the Muse. Increases damage to your companion's spells by 15%. Right. Right. Horror. What the hell is horror? Inflicts a dark curse upon your target, causing between... Oh, it's just a dot. Okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, cool stuff. Uh, we'll be back next episode, and we'll actually do a Lost Dungeons of Norath. I'll see you guys next time.